What's up? Welcome. <laughs> Today, we're going to check out the last of the three singles uh, from Spirit Box. Uh, this one's called Hysteria. And this is the final, last and final track from this kind of three single release. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm just as excited as I was going into the first track. The second track just kind of reinforced my excitement. So I am at the edge of my seat figuratively because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm fully in my chair. For this new track, I have high expectations because of, because of the previous two. I would probably expect the same kind of industrial alternative style, but we'll see. Hysteria, Spirit Box, let's get into it. Starting off similarly with just the drums. Okay, the thing is flowing from up to down now. This is kind of new metal-y, right off the bat. Holy shit, that riff. That riff is nutty. Courtney is really being a bit more experimental with this with this too. There's lots of very nice artistic reverb on it. Oh, this is the chorus. Wow. Oh, what a vibe. Chills. Chills, that drop off. My goodness. Oh, this section is fire. That guitar? Hello? Yeah, these, the, these vocals. Really nice. Really nice effects and production. This song sounds like it's building up to a heavy breakdown. Uh, we'll see if I'm wrong about that. But this one, this one might be my favorite one. I really love that chorus. Ah. Okay. That's fucking dirty. My, my breakdown radar did not let me down there. Oh my god, bro. That is so fucking sick. There you have it. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. I don't know what to say. What what is the what what are these singles? <laughs> they are so so fucking different. You know, now that I think about it, this song really reminds me of Holy Roller. It's it's the similar direction, especially with that breakdown at the end, spun in a very different way. I uh, this is not what I expected from Spirit Box, but at the same time, weirdly, that's exactly what I was expecting from them too. 
just a completely different direction, completely different style. At the same time, doesn't lack creativity, doesn't lack direction, doesn't lack the the absolute atmosphere and feelings they always have to their tracks. This song specifically, I would say it's my favorite one. And it's not because it has a breakdown, but it also kind of is because it has a nice fucking breakdown. Uh, but it's mostly the the melodies and, and I think the vocal production on this track was really cool. The second verse, whew, super nice, super nice stuff with all the effects, the this kind of spatial effects, spatial surround style of the vocals. I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> but yeah, overall, my overall thoughts on this whole like three song EP type deal, even though it's just three singles, technically mind blowing. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's, it's super exciting to see them back making music, dropping music and kind of blowing people's minds as they did with mine. But <laughs> as all good things, this one ended, so I would love to hear your opinions on this song in particular, but also overall the three song release. I would love to hear which one is your favorite. My favorite is Hysteria, without a doubt. Uh, and I, I would definitely love to hear your opinions on this, whether you like it or not. Drop it down in the comments. I'll be happy to read through it. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Please check out my Twitch. I stream every Saturday at 3 p.m. Also check out my Patreon. That's where you get some more exclusive content like 12 reactions and stuff. And of course, subscribe to the goddamn channel. Please. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.